Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a distribution plot using Seaborn. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So, first, I am going to create my Python notebook, and I'm just gonna call this distribution. dot ipynb ipynb that's how you create a jupyter notebook so first i am going to bring in the libraries that i'm going to need and i'm going to choose the environment so i'm just going to choose this environment called uh, ml ops and i'm going to run this and i know this environment ml ops has other libraries that i need all right, so now that this is done, as you can see here, I have a line that here that says from data prep import data. Um, so I have a file here called data prep.py and its job is just to read my CSV file and put it into a data frame. So I'm importing um, this data function here into this place. Um, from data prep import data and I'm just going to um, read this data so we can get our data for this tutorial so DF is equal to data basically I'm saying my data frame is equal to this data that I imported from data prep .py. and I'm gonna do DF dot head just to get a preview of the data And that's what the data looks like. So to begin, we are going to create a distribution plot with matplotlib or with Seaborn actually. And I absolutely like documentation. So this is the documentation on how to do what I'm showing, showing you right now. And I'm gonna add this documentation in the comment section below. So um, here's right here is the default histogram type for Seaborn. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that in a minute. So um, let's go ahead and create um, SNS distribution plot. So to do that, you just do SNS dot this, this plot. Um, here I did import Seaborn as SNS, so that's where this SNS is coming from. And I'm gonna do in parentheses, I'm gonna do DF print um, bracket, and I'm gonna do total trans count. So basically the way this works is like you do mcborn dot distribution plot and then you type in the column that you want to get distribution plot for. And you can go ahead and run this. And this is what it looks like. Voila. <laughs> but you can change the size of this. Like if you add a semicolon here at the end, it will remove um that let me show you what I mean. So to remove this right here, if you add a semicolon at the end. And um, this graph doesn't look um, too good. It's kind of small. You can change the size by using height and um, aspect ratio. So I'm gonna do height is equal to six, and I'm gonna do aspect is equal to two. So the default values is height is five I believe and aspect is one I, I think the default so let's go ahead and run this and um, there it is that looks a whole lot better so um, like I said um, hist right here is the default distribution type so if we go ahead and run this again you see uh, uh, what we did above is the same as doing this here and we actually do kind is equal to
haste. We'll get the same result that we did above. And there it is the exact same thing. So haste is the default kind for seaborne distribution plot. You could also get um, a KDE plot. And to do that, um, you just change a few things. So here, I put it towards the end here. I'm going to do kind. And I'm going to put um, KDE. And let's get and run this. And that's what it looks like. Now, what if you want to see superimpose this graph here, the um, hist graph and the KDE graph? How do you do it? Well, um, you can do it um, one of two ways, actually. Like, um, SNS does, does this plot is a newer library. There is an older library called this plot with a T. So um, the method I'm going to show you right now is using this plot. This is with a T, right? Um, the library over here is called this plot without a T. But you could also um, do it here. But it will give you a warning saying that, oh, this is no longer um, supported. So if you're using uh, this plot with a T, you have to manually specify your figure size using uh, matplotlib. I'll go ahead and comment this out and uncomment it in a minute. So let's go do sns.distplot. And I'm going to do df. Total trans count. Let's go down and run this. As you can see, it gives you a superimposed graph of the KDE type and the HIST type. And it gives you this warning, letting you know that um, this this plot is no longer supported. It's a deprecated library. I mean, if you remove um, this PLT thing here and do PLT dot show, you'll be able to get a better looking graph. Yay, that looks much better. So, how do you um, since this this plot with a T? It's a deprecated library. How do you use the new library of this plot to get superimposed graph of haste and KDE? Well, let me show you. Um, to combine both of them, you just do SNS dot this plot. You type in your column name, and then you do comma, and then you do KDE. Is equal to true and then you do height equal to six you could also change the height to something else but I'm just showing you with six and then it's I feel like I'm missing a parenthesis somewhere wrong location okay so Basically, you do a regular KDE plot, a regular HIST plot. So this is a regular HIST plot that I showed you earlier. Add this to remove this. And to super uh, to superimpose both plots, um, you just add this variable. You do KDE equal to true. And then you run it. And voila, now you have both graphs on top of each other. That's basically it for this video on how to create a distribution plot using Seaborn um, to get access to this notebook and any other notebook that I use for tutorials in my channel. Just go to my website, machinelearningeducation.com free 
and here you can sign up and you get access um, to my free data science resources and other resources that I have. And when you sign up um, for free data science resources, um, this is what you get access to. You get access to my tutorial Python notebooks. And this is where you find um, this notebook. And of course, there's more here. And um, you not only get access to that, you also um, get access to other things that I have in here. So I have um, the tutorial Python notebooks. I have um, resources that I find all over the internet that um, you might find helpful. We have some um, free books, like when I'm going on the internet and I find free resources like free books, I add them here. So um, this is what you get access to when you sign up um, when you sign up on this page and um, you get access to all those resources that I showed you and you also get access um, to this notebook that I used in today's video. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.